Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Magician out here, Virgo, Gemini. Let me get something with the Magician. Somebody trying to manifest something here. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody is doing some type of magic here. Somebody's trying to force their will. Okay, and they're resorting to magic. Yeah, we have the Devil here. They're resorting to dark magic to get some type of outcome. They're sacrificing something to this demonic energy or they're giving something to it. OK, go ahead. They're getting used. We have the king of swords energy here. Let me get something. They're working with somebody else. It's a fire sign and an air sign here. That's both doing some type of magic or some shit. They doing some dark shit. I don't like this shit. Why does shit come up in my fucking energy, man? We have the seven of pinnacles energy here and they've been trying to do this shit. Man, this shit get on my nerves sometimes, man. But let me just, just get through this. We have the Nine of Wands energy here. Yeah, good. Okay, let me get something with this. And then we got the Eight of Cups here. So these people are blocked and they're having to walk away. So they've done so much magic that they're fucking tired. They're tired. They can't do no more. There's nothing else that they can do. If what the fuck they've been doing has not worked, they're like, look, we need to stop wasting our resources because this shit's not working. Let me get something here with this magician. We also got Capricorn energy. The only two major arcana that's on the board as of right now is the magician and the devil. So I don't see how that could be good. But OK, let me get something here with the magician. We have the high priestess here. Yeah, this is a duo these two people are working together well they need to turn my fucking reading off because they're gonna be mad as fuck right now let me get something here with this queen of wands let me get something here they mad because i'm saying like i know they shit ain't working i know they're wasting go ahead keep wasting resources like really that shit like i'm just telling hmm okay we have the six of wands energy here somebody was absolutely sure that some shit was gonna work that they was gonna have success they really wanted this success. We got the four of wands here. Somebody said, oh, I guarantee it. You're going to see the results. Okay, let me get something here. Mm-hmm. They trusted in this energy and got judgment on that ass. Okay, king of swords. It's the king of swords, and we got judgment underneath that. So that's not going to end so well. Okay, it looks like the spirits uh, rejected something. I just got a reading like that. Okay, and these people fell into some type of trap. And they're going to be imprisoned for that. We got the five of wands energy. Okay. Trying to cause some type of war, trying to cause some type of obstacles and shit like that. We got the ace of swords here. So it's clear as day that somebody is really blocked. Okay. There's a king of sword that knows this. There's a king of sword that understands that they're under judgment. There's a king of sword that understands why something is not working. Okay, then you got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, why something is not working. They know why, because you're powerful. That's why the Ace of Wands was there. And then you got the Nine of Wands right here, Ace of Sword right underneath that. They have to know that because I'm pretty sure these are people that like maybe their shit do be working. Maybe it really do be working on other people, but it's not working on you. So they know that you're very powerful. Look, we got the death card at the bottom because they sent you some type of death magic. Lovers here, Gemini, it was both of them. They're both having to walk away. They're both having to walk away. What is this? Yeah, the death card at the bottom. Let me get something here with this. So they done sent death and you're still living. So I know they scared because they know how this shit works. Okay, so if it's not hitting your ass, where is it going to go? So they trying to really protect themselves right now, but it's not going to work. That shit originated from you. Okay, return back to sender. You can't block that shit. That's your energy that came from you. Let me get something here with this high priestess. That is so sad. We have the four of swords energy here. Oh, my God. It's somebody here that's for real about to be laid to rest, but it's not going to be you. 
it's going to be these practitioners magician and high priestess energy four sword let me get something here we have the ace of cups energy hmm now what is this let me get something with this and then we got the five of cups here it was like some type of new connection or something like that is somebody like i really do feel like it's somebody like passing away or something or it is some type of sacrifice or it was supposed to be it was supposed to be like them trading a soul or some shit like that like they do that shit this shit ain't no secret they've been doing that shit for fucking thousands of years let me get something here with the judgment card yep five i'm page of pentacles here page of pentacles they thought this was some type of offering they thought this was going to be some type of offering but it's not working out like that because it's not working wow we have the six of wands energy here this is the second time that the six of wands is coming out but this time it's underneath the five of wands hmm let me get something with this six of wands i mean it's this ace of sword and then we got the full card it's almost like they're seeing you have a victory they were sure they were going to get a victory from like it i believe this ace of cups was you but it, it's supposed to be like you were going to be the five of cups or you were going to be like some type of sacrifice or something like that and they're actually seeing you have a new beginning while they're still sitting in the seven of pentacles energy let me get something after this full card and this both of them look and then the ace of sword is here this is really they're really gaining the truth like they're not confused about something they know for sure that something is not working on you and they know that somebody's going down they know that for sure they know how this shit works they know this king of sword knows for sure they know how it works they know if something's not working it means that the spirits declined it they said no not this one you cannot like you didn't deserve something because there are some people you do magic on them and they already had that shit coming and spirit already knew so it lines up okay but for others there are people that do not deserve that shit and when the spirits say no they just say no and that's that and you got the seven of pentacles here at the bottom again like they've tried so many times that it's just like <sighs> they put a lot of energy into it too like i mean a lot of energy like people don't understand <laughs> the who i'm talking about they put a lot of sweat into what they did okay they really created some energy and they sent that shit out into the universe and they're they've done it so many times over such a long period of time they didn't know it's not hitting you because you're victorious you're still standing you're still standing out so it's not touching you like at all and that's what they know for sure for a hundred percent sure so it's like if they're doing all this and it's not working like how it normally does on other people then they're wondering like why is that we have the knight of cups energy here somebody's lover i feel like one of these partners is going to pass away somebody in this relationship is going to pass away because that's the energy that they sent out there for you we have the empress energy here wow they was trying to sacrifice an empress yeah right yeah the fuck right let me get something here with this five of cups that don't even make no sense and then we got the high priestess out here again so you already know what it is you already know what they tried to do you already know not to trust these people It's like they want to take your cup. They want to take your soul. They want to take your, like, who you are. They want to embody. There's somebody here that wants. It's like, I feel like there's a feminine energy behind this. It may be two people working together, but I feel like it's a feminine energy behind this. And this feminine energy, she has her own plans. Or it could be a he. He or she, they have their own plans, and they got somebody else to do the work. But this person that did the work or does the work or knows the work, they know 
something is wrong. They know for 100% sure. They're not delusional about the shit. The Queen of Wands doesn't care about that shit. Queen of Wands wants what she wants, but she can't have it. It's like she wants the Empress's crown and they can't have it. So they, they got somebody to do this shit and they think it's not going to attach to them. Like they think it doesn't come back to them because they may not have put their hand in the pot, but yes, they did. If they paid for this, if they're the originator of this energy, then yes, the fuck it is going to go back to them. Let me get something here with this page of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles here. Hmm. Is something here where they're supposed to be seeing you smaller, but they're actually seeing you bigger? Or there's something that's supposed to decline, but it's actually increasing? It's like, it's the opposite. Saying they know like something is wrong. Like this ain't right. Like Queen of Wands could be panicking at some point. Let me get something here. They also feel like you know that they're doing this too. Like you know too much and maybe because you know that's why it's not working. <laughs> yeah, maybe because you know the truth sets people free. The truth is a curse breaker in itself. Shit, that's why they don't want people to know the fucking truth. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. I told you they're seeing you in a bigger light. It's like you keep escaping something. Six of Swords, you keep escaping. Mm-hmm. The devil. The devil is out here twice. Look at that. The devil is underneath the full card. They're like, how is this person getting away from me? They've tried so many times. Let me get something here with this. The devil is out here twice. They try so many times. Every time they see you in like a high energy, here they come. And it still is not working. Or maybe it did work at some point, but it's not working anymore. Because you've risen above that. Look, the Queen of Wands. I told you it's her. I told you it's her. Queen of Wands and the Devil right there in the reading. Queen of Wands, Devil. Devil, Queen of Wands. Okay. It's the Queen of Wands that's doing this. She's behind the whole fucking thing. She's contracting people. Look, Six of Wands. I mean, Six of Sword. And you're still getting away. You keep escaping death. Death is right there and the Six of Sword. Like, I'm just trying to show somebody. Okay. The Death is at the bottom and the Six of Sword is at the bottom too. Okay. I'm just saying, you keep escaping the shit. Look, three of wands just fell out. You keep escaping the shit. Let me get something here with this deck. Mm-hmm. They know something is wrong because who is it going to hit? They know it's going to hit their ass. And I really think that this king of sword, they know the truth. This queen of wands knows the truth. They all know the damn truth. They trying to stop the truth, but they can't. We have the king of wands here. Oh my goodness, they see you as competition. Let me get something here. It's like they hate the fact that like you're stronger than them. They cannot beat you. They can't do it themselves. They can't contract nobody to do the shit. They can't do anything. Okay, five of pentacles. They can't do anything about the shit. Let me get something here with this. They just keep coming out as a fire sign. They don't look like they're doing okay though. Look, five of sword. So while you're over here in the eight of pentacles, they're over here like, how the fuck are they in the eight of pentacles? But I'm in the five of pentacles, but I've been paying y'all. Maybe you should have been paying for some fucking money work instead of worrying about what somebody else is doing, trying to destroy them. Okay, maybe you need to work on your finances and shit. Okay, let me get something here with this. Or their health. We have the Hierophant energy. Hmm. Taurus, Sagittarius energy here. They can't touch you. It's something about you being like ordained or you have the crown or you are wise or you got the information. You do know the information. And we have the queen of cups here being very intuitive, very connected, very loving, very balanced. OK, it's like you have a very light heart. So it's like they're trying to get dark forces to destroy you. But those dark forces like what happens when you shine a light in darkness? It's not dark no more. Right. Yeah, exactly. So. They don't understand that. They think they can destroy you with darkness. No, I can destroy you with fucking light. <laughs> we have the two of swords. Yeah, they are confused as fuck. That's underneath the devil. They are confused. Confusion. Let me get something here with this queen of wands. They do not get that shit, man. Yeah, seven of cups. The two confused ass cards in the tarot. Two of sword and the seven of cups together. Okay, with the devil and the queen of wands, she huh, confirmation. Thank you. Like they don't, they just don't get it. They will never get it. Light will always destroy darkness. You send darkness to light. Come on, that doesn't even make sense. You don't. Go ahead, let them do what they want to do. 
Let me get something here with this King of Wands. They so silly. Now, if you send darkness to a dark-ass motherfucking person, then okay, you got something there. Okay, especially if you can't access light because you don't have light within you. Okay, that makes sense. But trying to send darkness to a light being, yeah, come on now. You know once that light being shines that light, you know that's, that shit is over. You know that's over because the truth sets you free and the truth is the light. You see how that works? We have the King of Cups energy here. Let me get something here. Also, water sign energy. This is somebody that may feel connected to you in some kind of way. Like, they feel y'all got, like, some type of soul connection or something. Huh. That's funny because the Four of Cups is usually somebody that is not connected. There's usually somebody that's emotionally disconnected. So, never mind. So, this person feels like y'all are connected emotionally but like they are really not connected to their own soul okay they're not connected they don't understand something going on with their health something going on with their money something being rejected their their wishes like being declined okay this person is numb okay but they're still set in their ways they really think this shit is going to work but i'm telling you this practitioner is tired of, of wasting their resources and nothing is happening let me get something here it's like they just keep paying. They're like, stay on this person, stay on this person, stay on this person. And it's like, okay, it's not helping anything. So like sooner or later, you know, this practitioner, hey, maybe they just going to take all the money until this person gets tired. Because I feel like they're the type of person to get mad because something is not working. Yeah, exposure. The sun card here. It's something here that's exposed. Like it pretty much just is what it is. Somebody's the source. Let me get something with this yeah we have the ace of cups here like your heart is too light your heart is light okay it's a lot of light in your heart it's a lot of darkness in this person's heart they think that their anger is enough to attack you no if you did nothing to them they can't do nothing to you okay and that goes for this life past life whatever the case you're gonna have a lot of haters try to send some shit but if it's not balancing any scales it's not gonna happen okay it's not going to happen. Not unless they're going to physically come and, you know, touch you. You get what I'm saying? But if they're not doing that, whatever the fuck they're trying to do is going to keep getting declined. It's going to keep getting stalled. It's going to keep being stuck. It doesn't matter how many sacrifices they do. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? You cannot, like, go trying to defeat light beings and think that it's going to work. Let me get something here. And I'm trying to help somebody. I just saw the tower card. They're going to be very surprised here. We have temperance energy, earth angel. I say somebody's a being of light, okay? And this just fell right on top of the queen of cups. And that's who I was referring to the whole time. So I know that this is somebody like you can't touch them because of their heart. You can't touch them because they got their wings. You can't touch them because they're purified. You can't touch them because they've been baptized, okay? In the Holy Spirit. That's why they can't touch this person. Yes, let me get something here with this two of sword. Yeah, they tried. We got the chariot. Exactly. You got the chariot. Lord, you got the chariot over here with the temperance. You better move forward. You better fly forward. You know what I'm saying? You better get through them doorways. It has been exposed. It's like they don't want to believe it. They do not want to believe it. They're like, no, like there has to be another reason why this magic is not working. It's like, no, that's a light being. <laughs> that's why this shit is not working. Like, they're here to fuck you up. <laughs> and here you go trying to fuck them up, but they're already baptized. They're already cleansed. They already got their white robe, if you understand me. They already got that. Confirmation. Thank you, spirit. They already got it. You over here trying to dirty their white robe. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. See, that's why I said, see, if you didn't have that white robe and you were still dirty like them, then maybe that shit would have worked. But you ain't on that shit and you ain't on that level. And that's what this person don't know. So they can keep wasting their money, okay? They can keep doing that, but they already know. It's clear as day. They got the clarity right there. That is not going to work. Look, Knight of Pentacles, you're going to keep moving forward. They just don't understand how that's possible. Like Chariot, Knight of Pentacles, how does this person money keep moving forward? How does their job, their career, their business? I done sent all this shit. I done dropped powder. I done blew smoke. I done did every fucking thing. And this shit is still going forward? Yeah, because that's a light being. Look, Ace of Wands. You have power, okay? They really, it's its a, a mix of them not wanting to acknowledge it, them not wanting to believe it, at the same time, seeing it with their own eyes. Let me get something here with this. 
they just don't get it. But they get it, but they don't want to get it. They want it to be what they want it to be, but that's really not how it works. They don't understand, you know, there's boundaries, right? There's boundaries. Okay, fortress. Okay, we have boundaries. It says fortitude, staying power. They can't get in. It says determined, unbreakable. They just can't get in. It says baggage because they got all that fucking baggage and shit. Unresolved issues and shit. Demons and toxicities and shit they dealing with that they need to heal before they even try to attack somebody. Because if they would heal that shit, they wouldn't need to attack nobody. It says bedroom. I don't know. Maybe somebody got a sex demon. I'm just saying. I mean, it is a queen of wands. I don't know. Okay. It could be some shit like that. They got baggage. I feel like it's some type of shit connected with them. Like they must want you in, a, in another kind of way. And if they can't have you. And then it says uncertain. Let me get something here. It's like they really want something to happen here. And then we got winter. They want something to be cold. They want your, your life to get cold or your bed to be cold or, you know, for you to be alone or you not like, I don't know. They just want a whole bunch of shit to happen for you. And then it says friends. It's like the opposite of everything they want is happening in your life. It's the funniest thing for real. Like you're cleansed. You're cleansed. And this person is like dirty. Okay. Like, let's just say what it is. And it says happening right now. Okay. The situation or event in question in question is occurring right now this person is probably still trying to find people to do shit still paying somebody still trying to send some shit still trying to take you down they don't want to accept the truth okay let me matter of fact okay let me see something here what is this what do we need to know here it says soul awakening that's all i'm saying and it says no pressure like this person, they're just going to waste their time, energy and everything. They need to put all that energy into doing that shadow work. They doing all that spell work. They need to do shadow work because your soul is awakening. That's what the fuck they need to work on. But they got a long way to go. If they still trying to attack somebody and trying to pull somebody down. OK, that shit don't make no sense to me. Let me get something here with this. It says doubt. Mm hmm. They're not getting it says grief. They're starting to doubt something. They're starting to doubt magic, doubt their ability, doubt this. Go ahead and doubt it because you shouldn't be using shit to harm people. OK, what happened to healing? Heal your ass. Heal somebody else. Heal something. You know, where is that at? Where them cards at? Let me get something here with this. This person is really upset because they're not getting what they want. They were sure they was going to get what the fuck they wanted, though. It says affluence. It's like your blessings is all around. Number five It's something all around you, all protected, all around you. Look, transmuting. And it's a snake right here. Number 44. I'm telling you, they can't get in. It's some type of energetic thing around you. Then you got nature spirits here. It could even be spirits around you. It could be a whole bunch of shit around you. I see the blessings around somebody and I see this snake. They don't have what it takes. They don't have what it takes. They can't bite you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just really what it is. It is what it is with that one. Okay, let me see something here real quick. Since we talking about somebody doing some fucking magic, let me see something real quick. Let me see. Is there a message here? It says ancestor veneration. It's just like your ancestors got you. That's another thing. The spirit of your ancestors, everything that your body, your blood, all of that that's made, they're with you. They're, they're within you. And it says black candle. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? They are with you on the other side. Black is just what you can't see. It's the mystery. But just because it's a mystery doesn't mean that it's not true. And what is this? Mm hmm. It says four thieves vinegar here. It says protect users from disease, spiritual attacks and ill will. Yeah, it's like protection here. Your ancestors will protect you. You got a lot of spirits around you. I'm just going to say that because the four thieves. Yeah, you got a lot of spirits around you. That's protecting you. That's another thing. And you need to like do things for them. Say thank you. OK, it says broom. It says brooms are used to repel negativity, evil spirits and illness. OK, so maybe somebody got to clean up or something like that. OK, to swoop away that negative energy. Let me get something here. Because just because your spirits protect you, it don't mean you ain't got to clean. 
it don't mean you ain't got to keep yourself clean. If you don't do that, then you you leave yourself open for these things to work because that's very low vibrational. Let me get something here. And you can't be doing low vibrational shit if you ain't trying to have this bullshit touch you. It says spiritual growth. Exactly. You can't be doing that shit. It says trust the universe. Okay. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.